It's that's according to the Irish boss of the airline, Sean Doyle, who told the staff that we want to delight and surprise customers with the decision. Well, Owen Corrie is the editor of Air and Travel magazine. He joins us now. It's a good day, good day for passengers, isn't it, Owen? Who, who yeah, doesn't want a free cup of coffee? <laughs> more incredulity, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, it's only going to come in in long, longish haul flights, like the four or five hour. Um, that, that generally is Cyprus. That can be um, Israel. It can be Egypt. The two hour jaunt to Spain, which most people do in Portugal, it's not going to be back for that. A uh, good reason for that. It just is. Um, it's while most airlines thought it was a good idea to have free tea and coffee, they just got priced out of it. They just ended up. Um, getting rid of it because the low-cost airlines had decided to do away with it and people will vote with their pockets. They'll go vote with their wallets when they come to choosing their flight. But it can't be, it can't be that expensive, can it, to give out free tea and coffee to people? It's very interesting that people that still do it charge an awful lot for their fares. You know, there was sort of a, a cachet of with some of the Air France and City Jet services that, oh, we still give free uh, coffee and we still give uh, a croissant and a breakfast. And you still get from some of the airlines, you will still get um, your cup of coffee. Generally, they're the legacy, the, f- car, the flag carriers. Average fare on those runs 30, 40 euro higher than the average fare on the low cost. Most familiar in Ireland is um, Ryanair, but the EasyJet and Wiz and people like that, they've all phased it out. Very interesting, Sarah, that um, one of the major falling outs or one of the near major falling out between Michael O'Leary and the late Tony Ryan was when Michael O'Leary in the very early days of Ryanair, the early 90s, said, uh, let's do away with free coffee. Uh, Tony Ryan thought this was the most <laughs> r- uh, ridiculous thing he'd ever heard of. And he ended up, you know, forwarding complaints from customers to Michael O'Leary. There was a great deal of, uh, there, as you probably know, there were two very strong personalities. And there was a great deal of, uh, what would you call, creative tension between them for a while. But Michael O'Leary's um, philosophy prevailed. People don't expect the yeah. free coffee on the f- flights and they will vote with their wallet. It's, actually, a different, it's a different era now, Owen. Uh, very different. It? Everybody had free coffee in those days. But what you, you notice is, uh, and you see it in the Ryanair accounts, Cormac, that the average fare is kept quite low because when people go on their app and their smartphone that Sarah was just talking about mm. um, and they look for the fare, the first fare that comes up is going to be quite low. They end up paying almost the almost the average in the last Reiner accounts for ancillary revenue which really is things like that extra cup of coffee and priority boarding you can't think of bringing a bag on board without paying for priority boarding nowadays they end up paying about 44 euro for their average fare and about 23 euro in the extras well, there so you while go. but I don't know can I ask you this though I don't yes, know about this uh, bringing my free tea and coffee to entice customers I don't want rotten coffee off uh, an airline with that rotten UHT milk as well which doesn't add to it I must say the experience get me there safely quickly and cheap and if something goes wrong in terms of cancellations, well, then look after the customer. But I don't think this is going to do anything to entice customers, will it? Well, oh, wash your mouth out with lukewarm <laughs> water and a big splobber of milk and a wet tea bag in it. You do have a point. People, people I don't sort of actually... like it. I don't know. I sort of like... There's just a little bit of sense of being looked after. Easily You know, fooled. rather than She's sort of being moved on. like cattle onto the plane and cattle on... You know, I mean, all the joy has gone out of air travel now, isn't it? Like, I think all the joy has gone... And I'm not saying tea and coffee, free tea and coffee is going to, like, make it a joyous experience, but it just makes it a little bit nicer. It's awful. Am I wrong? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Some of the some of the fa- the coffee that you're charged for, they're proud of it. I mean, they make a big deal out of, um, like everybody's a coffee. Everybody's a, a barista, um, as opposed to a barrister, <laughs> a barista nowadays. They um, will they will say that oh, we're serving this excellent coffee and it costs five euro seventy five. And it happens at the airport, you're charged, you're overcharged for coffee. It happens on the air, you're overcharged for coffee. People still buy it and they do like to unbundle it. They don't like this notion, I'm getting an airfare and all these extras are in it and I might want some of them and I don't want others. It's the way travel has gone for a long time. Sean Doyle is really fighting hard to get British Airways short haul back on competitive terms with... Uh, it's more uh, EasyJet it's competing with in the English market, although Ryanair might overtake them in the English market this year. The long haul, it's a little bit easier because uh, 
there is a sort of a set of expectations and people are on the flight for yeah. longer. So he's working very hard to make those short haul British Airways services viable. Uh, that's what he's been doing. He's from Cork originally. He's been CEO for about three years now. And that's what he's been doing, saying okay. we're going to bring the premium back. But it's very difficult when people always vote with their wallet. Um, we have a text here from a listener saying, I wonder if Sean Doyle, the British Airways CEO, Mrs Doyle's husband. <laughs> Well, he'll be go successful on, if, if he's that persistent. He'll be successful. <laughs> Owen, we have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's it's Owen, a great and <laughs> Owen Curry, you. editor of Air and Travel Magazine. Let us know to five one double five one. Would you pay that little bit extra for free tea, tea and coffee? Um, I think we've just one more text. We'll just get to before we wrap this. Uh, I got a free small bottle of wine on a BA flight to Dublin last week. I was pleasantly surprised when they refused to take my card. That comes from Cliff. Now we're talking.